Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. So today we're in the paint booth and I thought we would uh, start a series of videos about the types of finish that we use here because it is very, very specifically not nitrocellulose lacquer. But before we do, I wanted to uh, talk with you all about a couple of things. One, as you may have noticed, I have uh, cleaned up my act a little bit, um, mostly because it's painting time and uh, I can't get a fairly decent seal on the mask with all that beard hair. So uh, trimming it back uh, like I did is gonna save me some brain cells. And let's face it, I need all I can get. Uh, I'm also wearing my Fender Custom Shop shirt today because everybody thinks I hate the Fender Custom Shop. Actually, I like to pick on the Fender Custom Shop um, because they're fairly easy targets and they're actually really cool people. So I pick on the Fender Custom Shop. Don't worry, Paul Reed Smith and Gibson, I'll get to you guys too. Uh, finally, uh, we've had a surge in um, subscribers to the YouTube channel and thanks to everyone who subscribed. Um, hopefully we'll be able to bring you guys some content that will help you out and building guitars in your shop too. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so like I was saying, this series of videos is gonna be about the uh, types of products and finishing techniques that we use since we've stopped using nitrocellulose lacquer. Uh, now, I was a very, very strong holdout for using nitrocellulose lacquer. And um, when we did that $400 guitar challenge, we decided to give this, uh, this new paint a try, and I'm really glad we did because it has changed everything. So uh, let's get started. The very first thing that we're going to talk about, uh, in fact, we're going to talk about it in this video, is the sealer that we use. But later on down the line, we'll talk about the uh, urethane uh, clear that we use and DBC 500 and the various urethane paints and metallics and this, that, and the other. But uh, let's start at the start and uh, talk a little bit about what we use to seal everything with. Uh, we're going to roll in a picture of four guitars that were uh, ready to shoot sealer on. And as you can see here, there's just plain wood and there's masking on them because they've been masked. And um, uh, what we used to seal those was the Simtech Coating Easy Sanding Sealer. And this is a polyester resin. Um, it has a hardener that you add to it and uh, you spray it out of a spray gun. So you know, something like something like this. This might actually even be the one. No, it's not. Um, and uh, uh, it goes on super thick and it pretty much eliminates the need for, you know, uh, grain filler and that sort of thing. It hardens real fast and it, you can sand it back. Now, um, this is basically an industry standard for guitars product. I have it on good authority that this is used by uh, people like Jackson. And uh, if you can imagine, you know, who works with Jackson, who else is probably using Simtech Easy Sanding Sealer. Um, it, uh, the, the key thing to remember when you're using Simtech Sanding Sealer is that it doesn't have to go on super thick and super gloppy like you might be used to on some import guitars. As a matter of fact, we spray the Simtech Sanding Sealer on fairly light, uh, you know, given what you, you could spray it on like, and then we sand much of it all the way off. Basically, we level everything out and we sand a bunch of this stuff off. And then we have a nice, smooth as glass um, uh, foundation for our paint to go onto. So um, let's go into the actual booth and check out those four guitars that I showed you a picture of just a little bit ago. Man, it is balmy in the actual spray room. It's like 90 degrees in here. Um, but we keep it hot so that the finishes cook and um, there's a couple behind me. I'm gonna bring some out and let y'all take a look. So here is the Super Casanova with the uh, Paisley fabric top. And uh, as you can see, it's actually quite shiny. This, is, uh, this has got its application of Simtech sealer and um, we were gonna, we're gonna scuff all this back and the back is actually getting a color and uh, then, you know, the top isn't getting any more color. And then after we get the, um, the urethane color that we, I uh, forget what we spec for, it's like an orange, then we'll put the uh, clear on top of that. Of course, we'll mask all the binding and everything and um, we'll be ready to buff. Let's take a look at some more. Okay, so here is the classic Challenger with uh, mahogany back, maple top, maple neck. Um, 
This is kind of the, uh, this is the standard model. Um, so it has its first round of SimTech on it. You can see the flame starting to pop out, but what the really cool thing that I want, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is mahogany and there's no grain fill on it. And it's like, I mean, there's orange peel because it you know, just got sprayed on, but this will smooth totally out and uh, eliminates a lot of the bullshit problems associated with grain filling and all the you know extra work that that entails. Got one more. This guy is one of my favorites. Um, it, uh, it's a super, super lightweight. It's actually got a, a, a vertical grain pine top, so it actually looks a lot like a spruce on an acoustic. And um, it's got a really cool, super awesome metallic color that is going on the back that I'm very excited to show you. But that's for another video, isn't it? Wow. Okay, so um, you might be wondering what these hooks are. If you are, let's, um, you'll need to go back and watch the video on the world's greatest uh, paint holder thing. I'll leave a link for you. Um, so again, the important part of using sanding sealer, especially a polyester resin, um, is not put it on super thick and sand basically as much of it off as you can just until you have what you need to, uh, to be a foundation coat for your color. Let's Revisit a handful of things about sanding sealer, especially the polyester resin type, not the lacquer type that you might be used to. Um, so it's a catalyzing product. The pot life is about two hours, I think, depending on how hot you mix it and what the outside air temperature is. Like I was saying, it's a balmy 90 degrees in my paint booth right now. So um, you have to you know, be careful of that. Make sure you get your gun all cleaned out. Um, and you want something that has a pretty decent sized nozzle. I think we go with like a 2.2 nozzle instead of your standard 1.4. And you can use HVLP nozzles, uh, or I'm sorry, you can use HVLP conversion guns or you can use a straight gun uh, gravity feed that works really good. Um, so again, the, uh, the key here is not to glop this stuff on like uh, you know with a fire hose and sand as much of it back as you can um, so that you keep the finish nice and thin. One of the things I'm going to harp on through this entire series is it really doesn't matter what kind of finish you have as long as it is applied properly and as long as it is applied as thin as possible. So if you have any questions about SimTech Sealer, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any questions about the other uh, kinds of paint that we're going to use, you might want to hold those questions until uh, the future videos. Although, if you go ahead and leave them in the comment section below, that might steer me into a, a, an, a topic of discussion. So, um, if you like content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you do the thumbs up thing on the video, that's also awfully, awfully cool too. So, this is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars here in the paint booth reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody.